Hello, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Many of the things that people ask me have a lot to do with relationships. It seems to be relationships can be some of the biggest challenges we have in not only in feeling good about our own lives, but actually feeling good to be in life with someone else. Relationships are probably some of the hardest work we'll do. It's a lot easier to be by yourself and not have to deal with anyone else and not have to grow and not have to be accountable. You know, relationships are part of growing up. And whether you're in a marital relationship or just a monogamous relationship with the opposite sex or even in a business relationship, these relationships are big business. And what I mean by that is it's going to be probably 95% of the growth factor of who you become is how you manage your relationships. Relationships are one of those things that can make us angry, hurt our feelings, make us feel bad about ourselves. However, relationships can be some of the most rewarding experiences we've ever had. If we'll adopt an attitude towards relationships, that we're going to be in a relationship not because we need someone or have to have someone in our life, we're in this relationship because we like that person, or we're in this relationship because it's helping other people. It's going to change the chemistry of the relationship to be something more positive. A lot of times people get into relationships because they're lacking something in themselves, and a relationship will cause them to feel better. This is a sign of some codependency issues that you may have if this is happening to you. We all have codependency issues, so understand that. We're going to be codependent because we're human beings. However, when it gains control of your relationships, it's dangerous. Today I want you to take a look at all of your relationships, whether it's in business or personal, and look at the way you manage those relationships. If you manage them with manipulation or anger or threats or diversion tactics to keep the other person away from you, or here's a common one, married people, married people have like a date once a week and all of a sudden that date becomes a mundane routine event one party in that relationship will cause an argument the day of that date to prevent themselves from having to be around that person and what this starts doing is eroding the trust in that relationship this is very very common and it has different forms and different configurations but that's usually a very common scenario I look for and if we can heal some of that then we're going to start healing that relationship for the remainder of this week what I want you to do is Really look at your relationships, whether they're business or personal, romantic, or just friendships, and look at how you manage those relationships. And the key for your relationships to be good is be in them to help that other person. Be in them to be giving and loving, not taking. When we're in a relationship so we can take something from it, that's when we get into trouble. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day and let's take a look at those relationships because some of it's the most important work you're going to do and some of the biggest growth you're going to experience. Until tomorrow, you have a great day. Bye-bye.